Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today's training is going to be on an app called This, T-H-I-S. If you search it in your app store, you'll see this uh, little icon right here with the arrow pointing or the finger pointing down and, and the red dot. Uh, this app allows you to layer text over the top of a photo. Um, and you can select here at the bottom uh, the color you want to use, uh, either black text or white text. Uh, small, medium, or large size text, and you can always go back and adjust them later. Um, it kind of walks you through uh, the little steps here, but uh, uh, I'll click on the camera roll uh, and uh, it allow you to choose from your photo library, take a picture, or whatever. If you're out in the field, it's a good tool. Uh, and layering text over the top of a photo is a, a nice thing to have, uh, especially if you're creating graphics on the fly uh, and you want to just do it on your iPhone or iPad. Uh, and not have to mess around with downloading the photo to your laptop, going into Illustrator or Photoshop and layering the text in. You can do it right on your phone. Uh, so this is Iconic Wrigley Field, um, which was under heavy construction a couple of years ago. And this is an overhead shot from Wrigley Aerials, at Wrigley Aerials on Twitter. Uh, and they shoot all these photos. We're using it with permission. Um, so I can tap on here and it will drop in my text. And notice you can grab this and just slide it around with your finger. You can grab the opposite end too and move it around. You can stretch it out a little bit. And if I tap on the lettering uh, right there, uh, it'll give me a field down here where I can actually type in something about it. It's very popular among the foodie crowd. Uh, they will label ingredients. They'll lay them out on a table and label the ingredients. Um, a really good little uh, tool for that. Um, and also, you know, for things like this, something that's under construction or undergoing change, you can show people where something is uh, on the photo. Again, I'll slide this over. This is Hotel Zachary, which was just being finished at the time. And again, all this is just tapping and grabbing with your finger and sliding around. And I'll put one more here. They actually built a bar under the field. And the inner and entrance uh, is right through the area right under the dugouts, right near home plate. So now you have this done, uh, you can, again, adjust your font sizes if you want something bigger. Medium works pretty well for me. Uh, you can change it to black text. Uh, you know, here, I think white works a little better. It pops a little more uh, against the darker colors. Uh, and then you have a share button here. You can share it uh, straight to your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It gives you many other choices. I can create a copy of it. Uh, you know, I can save it to photos. Um, I, I'm just gonna, you know, do a copy and then save it to photos. Um, so now I can go into my photo reel uh, and uh, camera roll and just uh, pull this uh, image right out of there uh, and share it to my social channels if I don't want to do it directly from the app. Um, really good tool for building graphics on the fly like this. Uh, I have uh, my students use this tool. Uh, it's very popular with them uh, and you can create some really, really cool uh, graphics with it. Um, so experiment with it. Um, share, it uh, share it with us at Journalist Toolbox. Uh, if you visit journalisttoolbox.org, uh, there's a page of videos there. Uh, you're watching one right now. You can subscribe to that YouTube channel. There's also a page uh, that'll allow you to uh, subscribe for free to our Substack newsletter. Uh, it comes out every two weeks on Tuesday mornings. And we launch a new video here just about every Monday morning right around 5 a.m. Central Time. That's all we had for now. Uh, we'll see you soon and be sure to check back for more training videos.